The second interview in my life took place in Puttaparthi, four months later. He immediately made Vibhuti, which he then distributed. Sai Baba turned to an Indian lady who was sitting near the door. He asked her how she was, how her family were, and then asked her to give him the ring that he had made for her some time ago. It was a little ring made of gold with rubies in it. During the years she had it, it had lost three rubies. Baba blew onto the ring once, twice, three times. Then he showed the ring. The rubies were back, and what is more, some of them had been replaced by two emeralds and some little diamonds. People react in different ways to Sai Baba. Everyone reacts to his or her own experience. This lady was very moved. She protested that it was too much of a present. You deserve it, said Baba. Keep up the good work. She kissed his feet where the Hindus believe is the point of highest energy of an avatar. Then he immediately took my silver ring with the enamel Jesus which was squeezing my finger. He passed it to my neighbor to look at. And he asked him to put it onto the ring finger of my left hand, where I had always worn it. It went on with difficulty. Then Sai Baba took it from me again and showed it to the people who were there. He blew on it. And then slid it onto that same finger where it had been too tight before. The ring had grown larger. If anything, it was now too loose. I was worried that it could fall off my finger and that I might lose it. We had solved one problem, only to create another. So he took it off my left hand and put it onto my right, which is slightly larger and has wider fingers. The ring fitted perfectly onto my right hand ring finger. I thanked Sai Baba and he just smiled. I clearly saw a blue aura coming from his hair. 